In this video, we'll demonstrate the process of how to properly wire and set up communications on a setup enabled SolarEdge three phase inverter. This video was recorded in a closed training environment. Refer to the manual and adhere to your company's safety practices while in the field. To begin, connect the grounding conductor to the grounding bus bar. Next, connect the AC conductors to the AC terminal block. Once connected, tug test to ensure proper connection. Next, connect the DC conductors on the terminal blocks located on the right. Once connected, tug test to ensure proper connection. Now that the AC and DC wiring is completed, replace the cover. There are three communication options that are supported for the inverter. Ethernet connection, cellular connection, and RS-485 leader or follower. To connect an ethernet cable, remove the gland nut in the communications gland and remove the seal. Next, route the ethernet cable through the communication gland and replace the nut. Connect the ethernet cable to the RJ-45 port on the lower left hand side of the communication board. To connect RS-485 for leader or follower communications, remove the gland nut in the communications gland and remove the seal. Route the shielded communication wires through the communication gland, placing the seal around the cable, and then replace the nut. Connect the communication conductors to the RS-485 interface B, A, and G connections on the RS-485 termination block. Be sure to use a twisted pair for B and A and the conductor of your choice for G. For this application, we're using shielded RS-485 communication cable. Once connected, replace the RS-485 termination block and repeat the process using the same color coding for each inverter in the RS-485 daisy chain. To connect the SolarEdge cellular plug-in, remove the gland nut in the communications gland and remove the seal. Next, route the antenna cable through the communication gland, placing the seal around the cable and then tightening the nut. Line up the pins on the cellular modem with the connection point on the communications board and gently depress to secure. Be sure that you're installing a cellular modem compatible with setup enabled three-phase inverters. Cellular modems for residential inverters are not compatible. Finally, connect the antenna to the cellular plug-in. And you're all set. Now configure the inverter using SolarEdge Setup mobile application, which is available on Google Play and Apple App Store. Thanks for joining us today. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos.